some of us rebelled. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a fantabulous couple in love that loves reacting to some fantasy. I mean, we're not fabulous and we're not fantastic. We're fantabulous. Exactly. That's how it works. And so this is continuing our World of Warcraft journey. This is part six. We're getting into Legion, which a lot of people are excited for. Say it's one of the best, uh, you know, cinematics out there, the best uh, expansion out there, I should say. So our World of Warcraft journey has been kind of spread out a little bit. Um, and now this month we're going to do one each week to finish up our journey. I think it's gonna probably be about, about 10 parts. We got our Whiskey Warbringers. This is our official World of Warcraft drink on this channel. We drink it with all of our Warcraft reactions. Cheers. Cheers. These mugs are great. And if you wanna to continue to support the channel, we got a link down in the description of this video. You can go ahead and uh, check it out and purchase one for yourself. And like I said, it supports the channel. So thanks. They're really great if you like Lord of the Rings because they're from Lord of the Rings. It's true. She's got Prancing Pony, I got Green Dragon. My son, a terrible darkness has returned to our world. I like this intro. Mm -hmm. As before, it seeks to annihilate everything that we hold dear. I go to face it, knowing I may not return. I don't think we've ever seen this guy like not cartoonish. Like it's kind of cool seeing him. CGI. All my life I have lived by the sword. I've seen kingdoms burn and watched brave heroes die in vain. Oh, nice! It's been difficult for me to trust after losing so much. But from you, I have learned patience, tolerance, Ooh. and faith. We're working together. That's cool. And she looks really cool with CGI as well. Yeah, Solana, yeah. She's great. Anduin, I now believe as you do that peace is the noblest aspiration. But to preserve it, you must be willing to fight. Yeah! There we go. Thanks, Deep Heart. Wasn't that into one before, but now it's badass. Mm -hmm. That was a cool so intro. Yeah, that's a quite a way to start it. Right now. 
place! Or you can show up any time now. No. Take this to my son. Thundercat swords. This well, better show why the horror didn't show up. That horribly depressing. Possible choice. Oh. 
chief. The lower spirits say death will claim me soon. In the end, death claims us all. But the Horde will live on. I have never trusted you. <laughs> Nor would I have ever imagined in our darkest time that you would be the one to save us. The spirits have granted me clarity, a vision. They whisper a name. Many will not understand, but you must step out of the shadows and lead. No, wow. Puff match dragon. What? Oh! Did he just make that dragon his now? I think he did. Nice.
thousand years ago, my city was radiant. The jewel of the Night Elf Empire. Mm, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Suramar. Our people prospered for centuries until the Legion came. Entranced by the power they offered, our queen betrayed us to the ruin of the world. Oh, damn. Jesus. As destruction drew ever closer, a desperate choice was made. To conjure a powerful shield that would save our beloved city. It worked. Centuries passed. Without moonlight. Without sunlight. Oh, damn. To survive, we turned to the Nightwell, a font of great power in the city's heart. Slowly, it changed us. And ultimately, drew the Legion once more to our gates. Of course. They offered us a trade. The Nightwell for our lives. As the elders planned their surrender, some of us rebelled. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We failed. Yeah. Now the devils have taken Surama. And by the curse of the Nightwell, I am damned to wither away. As my city. The master has been gone for so very long. I anticipate his return in every gust. It's maddening. Whatever is one to do to pass the time. Uh -oh. mm. I've gone and made a mess. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh yes. Our unannounced visitors. Preparations must be made. For the master will return. Soon. Who's that dude? I don't know, but he's kind of cool. <laughs> you just like losing things from like Nightmare before, before Christmas. Yeah. Azeroth, I pray that this, the final plea of the Army of the Light, has reached you intact. The Thousand Years' War has reached its peak, but the nightmare is far from over. This vessel represents our ultimate sacrifice. It must reach the Prophet. He is the key. None of us asked for this burden, but it is what fate has deemed. Succeed, and the light may yet endure. Faith and all worlds will burn. No pressure. We yeah. will not fail. Terrific. That's that good, optimistic, positive attitude. You, mm -hmm. you go, buddy. <laughs> Screwed now. Yes! Yeah. 
Oh! Wing oh, smashed! That was a nice move. And not the expected. I mm -hmm. like that. You have seen what I have seen. You know Damn what it. we face. Now, mortals, follow me into the abyss. <laughs> okay. Champions, your victory at the Night Hall has granted us the key to ending this war. With the pillars of creation assembled, we finally have the power to cut the demons off from our world. Gul'dan failed, and so shall the Legion. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Gul'dan. Was merely their pawn. True. Till victory is assured, we must remain vigilant. The Legion's true masters have yet to reveal themselves. Among them, the monster who hunted my people across the stars. Kill Jaden. to show for it is failure. Perhaps you've lost sight of our destiny. Perhaps I overestimated your resolve. I paid for that destiny with my world. The time has come to see it's done. Just leave! I had to come here. My boy, you don't need to see this. It has. surrendered even here at the very end I cannot do this father I can't be the hero you were I can't be the king you were Anduin be your own king your father's actions were indeed heroic they were his challenge to us, his people, to never let fear prevail, even at the very gates of hell. What am I 
I supposed to do now? What a king must do. Looks a lot like the beast when the beast turns into a woman in the beauty of the beast. Oh, okay. Our fates are now one. Argus will be your tomb. Oh no. At least we will have died fighting. Our war isn't over yet. Not where we hold the key to all worlds. What? Katka, take us home! Those some nice tricks with their sleeves. Yeah! Sometimes the hand of fate must be forced. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know about that. All forces are on board and accounted for. The Vindicar will be ready to depart shortly. After we reach Argus, we will meet with the army of the light and begin our invasion. About that. Does he understand what you're truly asking of him? Do any of them? We follow the path of the light. No matter where it leads. <laughs> your faith has always been your weakness. When your closest allies fell to darkness, you didn't stop them. When the Legion swept over your world and took your people, you didn't make a stand. All you did was watch, convinced you were following the Light's will. Oh, damn, dude. The truth is, you failed your people. Their blood is on your hands. You will never understand what I did to save my people. The light is holding you back. It's time to forge your own path. Brother, we are ready. Proceed. You want a certain doom?
like to defeat evil, do you stay pure and faithful and all that, or do you dabble in the dark arts? Something is wrong. The cowards have come out of hiding. Bring them down! Soon. What are your orders, Prophet? We make our stand. The last battle for Argus has begun. <laughs> yeah, chills on that one. Mm -hmm. Once more, Zira. Turalyon, you have found the chosen one. Whoa, really? <gasps> Illidan, from birth, the light in your eyes held such promise for the future. <sighs> Sacrificed that birthright long ago. Do you not wish to reclaim what was lost? To be whole again? The Legion's end is all I seek. My child, you've given so much for so little. Your true potential. Your redemption lies before you. Let go of your shattered form and embrace the light's power. I've traded my freedom for power before. The prophecy must be fulfilled. <laughs> You don't seem like a good person. Good entity. It is not yours to take. The light will heal your scars. No. And he breaks his scars. The light is your destiny. No. Yeah. yeah. Force like that. Your faith has blinded you. Yep. There can be no chosen one. Only we can save ourselves. I like that attitude. Yeah. That was a good one. That was interesting. Yeah. Turn home, children of Azeroth. He's like the Elder Guys. 
Illidan, we've done all we can. Every choice, every sacrifice has led me to this moment. To face him once again. You are not coming with us. The hunter is nothing. Without the hunt, did you not see this fate, prophet? Fate. <laughs> Our survival was never in fate's hands. Finally understands. Light be with you. Give it a story. Right? Well, that's pretty. Yeah. Like many of you, I know firsthand the pain of loss. Yeah. My father, King Varian Rin, gave his life to save his people. He knew that no one, not even a king, is more important than the Alliance. <laughs> And because he and so many others had the courage to make that sacrifice, we did the impossible. We defeated the Burning Legion. Let us honor our heroes. Spymaster Shaw. Back so soon. But by living our lives, our joy. I need to speak with him. These are the gifts of the fallen. Now. Just green eyes. I was just about to say. And celebrate them. Cool little hawks or eagles. For the Alliance! Observed an unusually large cluster of goblins in Sylvus, and the numbers are increasing. Goblins aren't the most charming people, <laughs> but they do things for a reason, and those reasons usually involve money. So, yep, just like in Harry Potter. I just found something valuable then. They have indeed. This. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. What? What is this? We don't know. It would seem the Horde does. And we must find out more. Agreed. We have eyes on it. Chief, 
If I may offer a few words. It is with both pain and pride that we gather here today. Pain for many brave heroes of the Horde fell against a terrible foe. And pride for against all odds. We have vanquished the Legion. We bled. Now we heal. We mourned. Now we celebrate for the Horde! For the Horde! <laughs> War Chief! A moment of your time. Hmm. No doubt Gallywix wants to push his latest money-grubbing scheme. Gallywix? Rats scurry about their business. And get eaten if they're not careful. <laughs> Keep sending more goblins to Silithus. <laughs> Nothing good has ever come out of Silithus. This will change everything. <laughs> I told you! And the Alliance knows nothing of this. Don't worry, War Chief. I got people on it. So, what do you think? The whole thing <laughs> like that, was, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, the whole thing was just so, so. Epic and and huge and Illidan is is completely my favorite. Um, I'd agree. I, I was already going in that direction before this video, but this video kind of sealed the deal. I think it's very interesting the idea of like the and forgive me because I'm I'm terrible with names. The prophet, yeah, um, who was all like, you know, he let his people down because he just kept having this faith that things would sort of like go right or or turn out the way they were supposed to. Yeah. I think that brings up a, an interesting point. And I love what Illidan said about like, we make it, you know? You, yeah. You know, I think Illidan would be willing to dabble in some of the, the dark arts to get the job done. Clearly, I and, mean, yeah. You know, that's, to him, that's a, a justified means to the end. Whereas I think the prophet is probably all like, no, you can't go to the dark side, like that's evil. And yes, like that's not recommended, but at the same time, I, I love that I'm I'm a positive person and an mm -hmm. upbeat person. So I always think like I always come at things with like it's gonna be fine, it's all gonna work out somehow, it's gonna work out for the best. And yes, that I do think that happens, but it's also you make it happen. It's not like you can just put it in the hands of like the gods or fate and be like, well, my life sucks right now, but it's just all gonna work out great. So take care of that. No, no, no. It's like, you got to take care of it. And you got to make it happen. And I think that's what Illidan does is he makes it happen. Well, it, it brings up the, about the guy that's in, like floating in at sea and, um, you know, he's, he's drowning there and he's, uh, a, you know, a little lifeboat comes back and says, hey, you know, come, come on board. He's like, no, 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 it's all right. You know, like, God's going to save me. God's going to save me. And then, you know, uh, you know, a sailboat comes by and says, hey, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll come on board, you know, the, you're overboard. He's like, no, 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 it's all right, God's going to save me. And then, like, you know, a big yacht comes by and throws him a life vest and says, like, come on board. He's like, no, no, I'm waiting for God to save me. Then he drowns and dies and gets to the gates, gates of heaven and says, you know, hey, God, why didn't you save me? He's like, I set the sailboat, the, you know, the rowboat and the yacht, like, what the hell? Yep. It's kind of one of those things where, yes, faith isn't a bad thing, but, yep. like, it, it just completely, like... Being blinded by faith is bad, and just thinking and that yeah, and dangerous, and just and just completely submitting to the fact that you have no free will or that like it's all up to chance can be dangerous. And it's just some, one of those things where you do have to you know take matters into your own hands. Um, I think you can do both though. I don't think it needs to be something where it's all right. You either have faith or you're somebody that doesn't believe in it at all. And right. Like, is like you know it, there is no, there's no such thing as like fate or anything like that. Like. 
for instance, for, for us, for, 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 get, for getting together. <laughs> Maybe fate brought us together, but it was our own actions and our willingness to, uh, you know, fight through the tough times and through like, you know, acknowledging that there's something there and like, you know, and taking that, that chance because there was some, there's some hurdles we had to overcome. We were talking and she goes about how she would like this guy and then he would like her, but like, they would like, like, you know, they wouldn't have said anything and it wouldn't be like until later, until like six months later or like a year later, they're like, oh yeah, I used to have a really big crush on you. Oh yeah, me too. And like by then, like, you know, it was over. It was like, you know, the, the, the time had passed. And so I remember her saying that and being like, I'm not going to let that happen. Like that moment's not going to pass. And so, and that's, you know, it hasn't. And here we go. <laughs> and here we are. Um, I, no, I, I, I think you're, I think you're absolutely right. I think you can have both. I think where, where faith in things become dangerous is like, and, and, it, and it's not just faith in like a religious sense. It's, it's faith in, no, yeah, in, exactly. in, in politics and government and in, in whatever it might be. Yeah. Anytime somebody asks you not to question something, question the hell out of it because <laughs> that's when you should be concerned. Like anytime there's something that you should have faith in and you want to ask, well, why or yeah. how, or because this happened? Like, always ask questions. Like always ask questions. And if those questions can be answered and can make sense to you, and if the questions are encouraged, you're on the right path. Yeah. But if your questions get shot down, down or you're told you're not supposed to question or just believe, mm, be a little bit worried about that. I like what they did with Illidan because yes, the whole revenge aspect, I'm always really drawn to revenge and like, and, and everything. And it's, I, I love those kind of stories and, but it can be so consuming. Mm -hmm. And what he said at the end, where it was just like, what is a hunter, you know, without the, you know, the hunted. Yeah. And it's one of those things where his whole life at that point had been about revenge and getting to this moment. And like, once you get to that moment, then what, what's, what's after that? Like there has to be something after that. And so it's uh, it's one of those things where like you can't be consumed by anything, you know, whether it's faith, whether it's revenge. Um, don't let any kind of one feeling, one like be your guiding light and be like your belief and like just be so tunnel vision into that one thing. Um, yeah, so I just thought be, that was interesting. You shouldn't be identified as one thing. Exactly. Like, Illidan is identified as revenge, and that's it. Well, guys identifies as like the prophet and like it's like yeah. you know like a faith and just a, a full time believer. Like yeah. that's it. And I think so often, especially because we we get so enthralled in these stories and we love these stories and they are put into sort of those cookie cutter ideas of or, or character types that we sort of get the idea that like that's that's a really great thing but really it's it's a, a technique of storytelling like what's really interesting are that people are all of these things we're all a little bit of the prophet we're yeah. all a little bit of revenge i mean god if you mess with my dog i'm gonna screw you up okay <laughs> so true. like i'm really sweet right now but if you touch my dog we have issues like we, we all have yeah. those pieces to us and that's what makes humans and real life so fascinating. The only other thing that I would say about World of Warcraft is each time we dive a little bit further into it, the more kind of enthralled I become in it. It's, it's just, it, I'm a fantasy buff, so I, I love that world in general, but the characters in this are mm -hmm. really good. Um, Sylvana, I, 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 I think there's an S, I think it's Sylvanas. Sylvanas, sorry. I think. Um, I have more questions. Like yeah. I felt, I felt like we got really good with like the prophet and Illidan, and sort of like they got wrapped up nicely. Yeah. But Sylvanas, I didn't feel it necessarily got wrapped up. I kind of was like, wait, how did we go from like here, war chief to imprisoning someone in freaky blue lantern to wait, where, what happened? Where'd you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I agree too. Like the, there was something there that that, that wasn't quite seems complete yet um so let's know what you thought about this uh down below in the comments and uh just get ready for part seven which is going to be Warbringers for uh next week next triple trailer tuesday and just keep in mind that our reaction for this world of warcraft journey for legion part six is definitely not definitive <laughs>